Jasper. Hi. 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 Missed you. Missed you. Here. <laughs> Morning, folks. We're finally back home from about a week of traveling. First Toronto, then New York. Vancouver is currently back to its kind of gloomy self. And honestly, I'm not mad at it. It's kind of nice. Also, here's Ryan's new haircut. Wow, wow. Give us a 360. Wow, wow. So handsome. How does it feel? Good. Very short. Very nice. Do you like it? I don't have to do my hair too much. Too much? At all? <laughs> Just go like this. That's it. I kind of left it as a cliffhanger like two vlogs ago um, because the New York vlog was pretty last minute. But yeah, here you are. Hi, Jasper. Look how cute he is. He saw the camera and got so excited. He's like, oh my goodness, we're vlogging, we're vlogging. The plan today is just kind of explore the city, maybe grab a coffee, do a little thrifting. Today is really Ryan's only day off of work, so we're just gonna, we're gonna take it easy. How's roasting been? Roasting's fun. I like roasting a lot. I like it because it's kind of like cooking, but yeah. it's still coffee and it's more of a product focused um, environment. And it's sometimes I'm awkward with people and <laughs> yeah. this is a great way for me to be in coffee and not be awkward with people. Nice. <laughs> All right, first stop, we're at the big pomegranate. Look at that. Wow. Got our pour overs. Got this massive cornflake cookie. Maybe just like jeans that I could hem as shorts. All right, next up, we're in one of our favorite neighborhoods, Chinatown. First up, we're at Cool Thing. I think it's a good size. I like the pockets. Pockets look cool. These colors, it's colorful. Happy Pride. Yeah. Harley Davidson. Name one Harley Davidson song. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Some. Look at all of this selection. Wow. I'm gonna grab one of these pork and chives. We're gonna grab one of these Chinese sausage rolls. And then this barbecue pork one. Great, thank you. One of our favorite spots. Come on, give some. Go check it out. Hi, Jasper. Hi. Good morning, good morning. Jasper, smile. Oh, smile. <laughs> All right, so we also picked up some lunch from Kamoi Dim Sum as well. This is the kanji. Got some wonton soup. Everybody's so nice there. So nice. Next up, I'm gonna try turning these jeans. Very nice. These are the Levi 501s into some shorts. So here's what they look like. I wish they were a bit baggier, but I think these are a waist 35. I'm usually a 30, so if there were any bigger, it would just not fit here. I also just got this new rotary cutter, so we're just gonna go for it. Boom! So easy. Ooh, look at that. I'm gonna fray it up a little bit. Boom. Wow, wow, wow. We got the Lushity belt with the sneakers, the tote bag, and the sunnies. Cute, cute. So later tonight, I have this dinner that's kind of like a panel. Um, I'm actually not too sure what to expect. There's two creators, one of them being myself, and 14 different marketers and brands. And it's basically a dinner but also like a discussion talking about like the creator economy. Um, it's just kind of weird that there's only two creators. I'm excited for it. Um, I love food, I love talking. So we'll see, it'll be like a work dinner for sure. Probably also not gonna film there. I don't know, we'll see. But regardless, I'll see ya when I see ya.
kind of full body day. Um, a lot of the movements I haven't done in a while, so it was definitely interesting. Definitely got my heart rate up, moved my body, so I'm feeling good. Feeling a little bit tired slash dehydrated from last night at the dinner. The wine just kind of kept flowing in, and you know, it was a good time. I guess more in a bit, but I gotta get to the studio. We got an important meeting that I'm very, very excited for, so yeah. Hello. So yeah, last night at the dinner, it was myself, another creator, and a bunch of different like marketers, people from the brand side, people from the agency side. It was definitely a little bit kind of quiet at first, but as the dinner progressed, and the wine started flowing, people got a lot more talkative. And y'all, I did not hold back. They asked questions like, what makes a good partnership? Any advice for brands, working with creators, um, like biggest gripes? And for me, um, I just told them straight up that I find it very disrespectful when the brand doesn't abide by their own timeline that they propose. So when you're working with brands as a creator, you have to submit a concept, they approve the concept, then you provide the draft video, then they approve it, and all of these have like set dates and timelines that on the creator side, we're very strict on because, you know, there is a little bit of power imbalance between the brand and the creator. But what ends up happening, a lot of the brands, especially if you haven't really worked with them before, but a lot of times it ends up taking weeks past the initial proposal timeline to get some feedback. And like they express this as well. Oftentimes it's not the agency or the marketing person, usually legal team or the CFO or whoever it is that like wants to take a look at it. But yeah, overall, I thought it was a great time just connecting with different people that are not just creators that still make up the creator economy. So it was nice. In a little bit, we're gonna head out to see the first sample of the shirts that we're cropping. A few vlogs ago, we decided to gently crop a few of the verse shirts that we had left over. Not like a heavy crop, but a gentle crop, just at the waistline. So I'm excited to see how they turned out. And yeah, these look good because the shirts are already made. It should be out in a couple weeks. Which is like the best thing when working with local manufacturers is just things are quick. You know, there's not shipping delays. There's not held at customs. Things get moving. Also, let's just take a second to appreciate our beautiful studio. Wow. High point shoulder length to hem 21 and a half is mm -hmm. what it ended up being. The hem opening is 44 and three quarters. So it's okay. not stretched out. So it's a quick and very simple lunch. I'm gonna be doing some steamed bows. Uh, our bamboo basket broke, so we're using this uh, sifter. These are the barbecue pork buns that we get. These are from Kamoi Dim Sum. What's also really nice is that they already have the parchment paper, so we just gotta plop it on, cover that, and you're good to go. All right, folks, so I thought I'd kinda end this video with a little Q&A segment. Apologies if this vlog was a little slow. Um, I just needed a bit of time to kinda settle into things, especially after traveling um, with the less shitty kind of summer drop coming up. There's a lot going on. So a ton of questions here that you guys left on Instagram. We're just gonna get through it while eating some bows. Mm. Why don't you ever travel with Ryan? First of all, I do. Even last year we did an LA travel vlog, New York travel vlog, Kelowna travel vlog, and then we did a bunch of smaller trips like going up to Squamish. So we do travel together, we love it. His work just does not allow for spontaneous travel. And a lot of the times for my work, for campaigns or spontaneous trips, it's just very last minute. And although he's always invited to come, um, he's just not able to take the time off. And that's just that. I got so many very like suspicious and like cynical comments. Be like, where's Ryan? How come you're meeting up with other queer people? And it's just like, can I not have other queer friends? I don't know, I feel like some people are just very bored, but we're good. Um, Ryan just is not able to travel to the same capacity that I am able to because uh, I work for myself. So yeah, when you're away, what do you miss from your partner? I think just doing the little things together, like eating together, walking around together. It's nice as an introvert to do it by myself, but it's also nice to share that with someone else, especially my partner. Um, also the cuddles. What is your favorite go-to place in Vancouver? Tough to say, but honestly, this uh, dim sum place, Kamwai Dim Sum, Chinatown, you gotta go check it out. They're so friendly, 
and the food is always just so bomb. It's cheap and it's just so good. Mm. Mm. What's next for you and Ryan? Very, very exciting. As you know, Ryan is currently working as a coffee roaster. So in the near future, we're gonna be doing coffee pop-ups together where we have a retail space, but we're also able to sell beans online. And it's just gonna be a great way to kind of engage with our community. I actually also used to work in specialty coffee when I was in university and graduated university as well. Ryan obviously currently works in the coffee industry, so he's a lot more knowledgeable than I am. So I'm gonna be taking more of the back of house, kind of the marketing finances role, whereas he's gonna be more front of house and operations. So we're really excited. If you guys want to support early on, go check out Cowdog Coffee on Instagram. If you're unaware of why it's called cow dog, look at this guy. Are you a cow dog? He's a cow dog. Mm. Okay, I think that's a pretty good spot to end off. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this kind of getting back into routine, getting my shit together kind of vlog. I am so excited for these cropped shirts. I feel like it's just the perfect amount of a gentle crop, like it's not overtly cropped, which is fine if you like those, but I feel like this kind of helps accentuate your proportions while kind of keeping it a bit more like day to day, you know? Anyways, I'm very excited. Other than that, thank you guys for watching and remember to be less shitty. Bye guys. Can you give us a goodbye fist bump? Fist bump. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, bye.